party, party, party here in the secret closet. I'm Angela and we are looking at fabulous fashions from the 40s and the 50s today. Starting with this wonderful jacket. This is a party jacket. I see you wearing this to a party. Wonderful velvet. Is this a yummy shade of velvet? Uh, you just want to bite it, eat it. It's so, so, so beautiful. Um, this is from the 50s. It is longer than a bolero jacket, and I know it was inspired by the Eisenhower jacket, named after um, President Eisenhower, who was General Eisenhower during World War II. He wore a crop jacket, and it became so popular, it even influenced women's fashions. It was so popular, in fact, the jacket was named after him, Eisenhower jacket, and he's buried in it at the Presidential Library in Kansas. Uh, so this is an Eisenhower length jacket with a shawl collar, dolman sleeves, one piece of fabric, very popular in the 50s. It had to come back in the 80s, but this is the real deal. This is also the real deal. Are you going to make an entrance in this coat? What an amazing piece. <laughs> the buttons alone, the two buttons alone, ought to be earrings. They're just so beautiful. Borealis buttons, they look like earrings, don't they? Mandarin collar, peach wool, lined in the same color of satin with this self tie, this little sash that goes all the way around. Big, big, big sleeves. This is 50s, but this is an, one amazing piece. Lots of yardage in this. A quality, quality coat from um, Saks Fifth Avenue. And how heavy is this? It is so heavy, I said, I have to weigh it. It weighs four pounds. So if you are uh, going out in the, someplace fancy schmancy, you are in the winter, you are gonna be very, very warm in this gorgeous coat. I've never seen another one like it. Oh, I also pulled this um, velvet dress. It's a sheath, a simple 50 sheath, um, narrow sleeves, very figure flattering. Um, in the back, a little bow, the metal zipper that we like so well. And um, you know something about velvet? And it was a favorite, favorite material and fabric for royalty. In fact, Richard II, one of the British kings, in his will uh, demanded that he be buried in velveto, which is what velvet was called back then. Not to be confused with Velveeta, which is the cheese spread. So there we have it. Two velveto pieces and, uh, and a coat, a gorgeous, lovely coat that you can make an entrance in. Hate to run, but I'm late for the party. Bye-bye now.